when I hung out with you guys the other day, I just got the sense that you love apples. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the apple nerd <laughs> that we discussed, yeah. My name is Molly Della Roman. My partner, Tim Skillen, and I own and run Five Star Nursery and Orchard in Brooklyn, Maine. And um, we took over from the predecessors in 2017. We're finishing our fifth season now. So our orchard is primarily heirloom apples, so all old heritage varieties that aren't cultivated as much these days, and specializing in a lot of the specifically to New England and Maine itself. So I came to apples through John Bunker, who is a lot of people's apple mentor in Maine. The apple community has really come together to try to preserve diversity. I think at one point, the estimate was that there was, you know, between 5,000 and 8,000 different varieties of apples and we're down to like, you know, just a few hundred. It's so important, especially as orchardists, and there's going to need to be a diversity of apples grown. Tim has connections to East Blue Hill for years. His grandparents lived in East Blue Hill. He spent all his childhood summers here in East Blue Hill. We saw this orchard for sale in Brooklyn and it just kind of went from there. There's not many people that can say when they're picking peaches they can hear loons calling just off the shore because we're right on the shore. We're on Allen's Cove in the Blue Hill Bay. We know we are very, very privileged um, to have this piece of land that we have. It's been an amazing community and the people on the Blue Hill Peninsula, they really get it. They really understand that local and organic needs to stay here, needs to grow, that it's going to be more important than ever. And people saw those empty shelves during the pandemic and it was scary and they know that you know we're at the end of the supply chain and uh, we need we need to be able to take care of ourselves. We're relatively newcomer farmers to the area but to have the excitement from the older farmers, the other new young farmers that have come in, like everybody wants to make this happen and everybody is working together and everybody supports each other.